Okay, welcome back. Let's hope that this thing is recording. Um, next tool. We just finished using the bone tool and the uh, paintbrush, not paintbrush, paint bucket, fill tool on the eyedropper. Eraser is the same thing as the brush. You click on it. Well, right now I have nothing to erase. Same thing as the brush, you have your properties, as I mentioned earlier. And to erase, you just zoom out to have a bigger brush. So I'm going to erase this. V is my shortcut for my selection tool. Select, click delete. Off we go. Okay, the last tool I want to show you guys is the onion skin. It's not really a tool, but an ability, more or less. Uh, so to do so, I'm going to click on my onion skin right here, which is the first blue and white button. It says onion skin. Okay, I'm going to start animating. Now, the very most easy thing to animate in my mind are stick figures. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one real quick. My stroke is black. I'm going to set it to 8 because that gives me a nice large uh, stroke to play with. I'll start off with that. Give him some legs. Make it look like he's walking. Okay. All right, and O for my oval tool. Oh, he's got yellow. Command Z to undo. Let's make that black. Maybe give him a little bit of a larger head. There we go, black. Now if you wanted to, you could also give him uh, feet. Completely up to you. Some people do that, other people don't. If you go online and look up stick figure animations, you'll find many, many, many stick figure animations, especially the kung fu ones where they fight. Okay, so moving on. So I have a little figure here, and you can draw whatever you want, really. But I like to use the line tool because, as I said in a previous uh, tutorial, when you select them using your selection tool, it selects them in segments. Awesome. Okay, it makes it a lot easier to move. All right, also if I want to select this arm because it's a single segment, it's bisected by this segment, I would hold down the shift key and then move forward. Similarly, if I want to add the shoulder, I just hold the shift key again, boom, there we go. I can use my transform tool and now it acts as all of this is one object. I don't know if that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so my onion skin is on. You know that it's on because you have two little white dots over your playhead, like an onion skin. So I'm going to click on my first frame and press F6. F6 will automatically copy whatever's in my last frame into my next frame. So if I did an F6 in frame 15, it'll copy frame 2 all the way up to frame 15 because that's where I have the change. Well, onion skin is neat in that it provides a skin or a leftover background shadow so that you can see exactly what you're doing. So if I move this over, you can see that I have a little bit of a darker shadow behind there. That's the onion skin. So I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. Deselect. Okay, and I'm going to have him actually walk. So I'm going to suggest uh, maybe he's going to move his, his leg. So hold down shift. Click on that. It is too small, so I'm going to go command plus shift. There we go. Okay, I already have my free transform on. So I'm going to bring my anchor point, no, command Z, bring my anchor point, which doesn't seem to want to select today, bring my anchor point, come on, okay, got it there. Shift. Click. Okay, looks like I'll have to do this separately. Q, bring up my transformation tools one more time. Bring my anchor point up here. I'm going to rotate his leg back.
Man plus. Now I want to move this guy completely over. Bring my anchor tool right there. Rotate that a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom out, Command minus. Now right now, because I'm working with my leg, this guy is also highlighted. I believe that is just lag in the system. Okay, which kind of sucks, but we'll have to go through with it. So if I bring my playhead back a little bit, <clears throat> I drag it forward. See the little jump there? It's like he's walking a little bit. Okay, so I'll go to this layer, you select once again. It is locked in place. Okay, so we'll assume that's part of his body now because for whatever reason it won't let me deselect him. Let's try delete. Nope, so won't. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to press F6 one more time. Go on to frame 3. See, there it goes. I knew I didn't have it, anything there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is zoom out. Control minus. Too much. Command plus. Not control, sorry. Command. Command on a Mac. Gonna bring him forward a little bit more. And this time I'm going to bring this leg up. Q is my shortcut to bring up my transformation controls. Do that. Maybe bring this leg. Shift. Command plus to zoom in. Shift. Make sure I can get my other line in. There we go. Bring that up. Okay, and let's say he's swinging his arms. Shift. Bring my anchor point down up here. Now, if you can't um, rotate it, uh, a limb for whatever reason, if it's easier, just erase them. Sometimes that works too. So N is my shortcut to make a line tool. And you'll notice that my 8 is still selected. Just bring that down there. F6 one more time. And I'm on my new layer. Or my new frame, rather. And let's bring this arm for the back. Shift, bring that there. Q, anchor point over here. Rotate this guy down. Bring this guy up, anchor point at the shoulder point, bring it up. No, this guy's a little off. Shift, what did I miss there? Was there an extra, ah, there's an interruption there. So I'm just gonna physically move it back. <coughs> You'll see that I have a missing elbow joint there. Delete that guy, click, delete that guy, N, connect my elbow to my arm again. A little choppy, but you guys get the idea. We can move that later. And now his leg. Put that there. Let's make him actually have a little bit more of a knee. So N. I'm going to go knee out there. Mm. Looks like he's sitting. V selection tool. Q transform tool. Command minus, zoom out, there we go. Select all of him, V selection tool, and I'm gonna move him forward a little bit. Okay. Now if you click and drag over your um, your playhead, you'll get little gray boxes, or a gray bar, I suppose. Now all that tells you is how many frames to show in the onion skin. 
Otherwise, you'll just get the one frame because it's over the one. But now I can see the progression of my four frames. So now I press play. Looks like he's walking. So I'm going to animate this a little bit and try to go a little quicker. F6. Now because it's on onion skin, I don't have to physically click on my next empty frame. I can just press F6 and it'll work for me. There we go. And I'll just animate my legs. It might be easier to just delete it and redraw it. Delete, delete, and come back here. go. Maybe delete his arms a little bit. Delete, 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 and bring his arms back. V, select this guy. Q, transform him. <clears throat> there you go. So now I have five frames. Now my frames per second are 24. If I want to see this go a little bit slower, just so I have an idea of what it is, I can bring that down by half and go 12. So now it'll have half a second worth of animation. And if I press Command Return, it will export a Swift file, loop, and that way I'll be able to see what I did. And there's our little man. Okay, see you next tutorial.